Hey guys, it's Brother Paul here. Um, just wanted to share a dream I had this morning. Uh, I unfortunately lost the beginning. I didn't realize that it was edited out. So just coming to tell you, um, I had this dream early this morning. I believe I woke up between, I think it was 509. But then I woke up officially at 530. So I was kind of between that time. I'm, that's all I remember. So I missed the part, but I'll just go right into it and you'll get the idea. Okay, thanks guys. At this point, what was going on? So my mom grew up Catholic and uh, in, in her generation, she's still alive, she's 93. Um, they put priests at the highest regard in their lives and my mom was one that followed the Pope and you know, uh, for those who are new to the channel and you may not know me, I, I walked away from the religious system completely. After I read the Bible once, that was it. It's all it took for me to realize that uh, it's all lies and, you know, there's been sabotage. And Anyway, going back to my mom in a dream, <coughs> my mom always held priests in high regard. So here was this priest not only trying to take advantage of her in the middle of her idolizing him, and it got me really mad, but the, it ended. The scene ended because I saw her stomping. And, and it's too bad that I didn't write it down earlier because I know that she made a reference to a... She made a reference to an October something. So I don't know, whatever that means. So I... Um, the scene changed again. And then this time I was under a bridge in our city where I live... There's a kind of a prominent bridge named after the Queen of England, and I think they call that little section the Queen's Way or whatever. But um, in the dream, uh, I was witnessing this, and it seemed that there were people eating in this man's apartment, and it was called a bistro. So whoever I was witnessing through their eyes, whatever, they walked in and they were coming to have lunch. And then I quickly realized that the famous person that was hosting was Tony Curtis. And Tony Curtis was a very famous man in his day uh, for many things. I think he was a dancer, a singer, an actor, whatever. It didn't matter what category. But in this dream, he was under the bridge, no longer in the spotlight. And he was allowing people to come into his life so that they had time to idolize him. And they were all older people of his generation. So I found that very interesting. And I looked around and there was a curtain in the middle of this room. And if you pulled it back, you very clearly saw looking out the window of the apartments that you were looking over a river under a bridge. But that part was hidden with a lot of fancy art and stuff along the walls to give you the impression you were in a very posh, you know, fancy restaurant, which really was just an apartment. And I remember when I went behind the curtain, I noticed in the far corner what looked like mafia types of, of gangsters, but they were old. They were like 80, 90 years old, but uh, they continued and their way of idolizing themselves as still being able to be in behind the scenes of this bistro, if that makes any sense. And then um, finally, uh, I heard a voice I recognized and it was the ex-boyfriend of my daughter who just graduated last, shoot, last week. And I saw him walk by in the hallway. This was at my parents' house and I saw uh, my wife. My wife came out and I go, what are you doing? She's like, oh, I got to go to bed. I'm, I'm just, I, I'm getting ready for work. And I look at my watch and it was like three in the morning. I'm like, why are you up so early? She's like, I got to get ready. And then she walked away and I just sat there realized, wow, like my wife's a teacher and a counselor and she, she basically puts her job first. So I guess that was her idol. And the reason the ex-boyfriend was there was uh, my daughter my my daughter thought that that was her future husband and my wife really liked him I did too but my wife put him in a category like that was her future husband so 
anyway, that was the end of the whole dream. And my wife woke up actually just as I was leaving for work. And I told her this dream and she didn't like, she doesn't, she doesn't like when I point out things that she has to repent for. But uh, anyway, those are examples of, of different age groups of people that still have to repent for things. So it might be people in your life. It might be a religious leader. You know, it could be uh, celebrities. You know, it could be your own job. So really, really look into this and uh, and take it to take it to the Lord. And um, I don't mean anything malicious by pointing these things out. Uh, this is what I was shown, and I think all of us have things like this in our lives. So. Um, that's the dream. That's the message. Uh, I love you lots. I hope, you know, this might make you think of somebody that you got to talk to about this subject. And, uh, yeah, continue with your walk with the Lord. He loves you very much. And he wouldn't give me this dream to share if it wasn't important. All right. Thanks, you guys. Bye-bye. I love you.